I'm going to get back into it again, guys. So greetings again, big time reactions. You know, it's an interesting day. This is, I, as many of my subs know, I live in Florida in the United States. And one of the things we deal with is hurricanes. And right now we're dealing with one. Uh, the hurricane hit land, I think, this morning. So right now we're in the thick of it. It's starting to make its way across the state. So outside, it's a little, it's, it's getting a little spooky now here where I am on the west coast of Florida. They're getting pretty hammered. So for all of my subs and anyone tuning in today who's living in that area, prayers and thoughts to you and your family. I hope you, you, you're all doing great, doing well, and you're making your way through this. I'll definitely send positive vibes your way. May the force be with you, as all of us Star Wars fans say. But I definitely keep you guys in my thoughts because hurricanes are no joke. I mean, even the, the tail end of it, like we're getting here, it's no joke at all. So today what I wanted to do was sit down and take a look at the uh, latest episode of Ahsoka. Uh, you know, the first two episodes, I thought they were fantastic. You know, I've heard, heard some criticism that it's a little too slow and this and that. But in my opinion, you know, compared to everything else we've seen so far, night and day difference. Obvious difference that Filoni is, is, is leading the way with this one. It's fleshed out. The story pacing is great, in my opinion. The, the visuals are impeccable. The sets are great. Everything has been good for me. I've really enjoyed it. I've had a great time enjoying it. I'm curious how you guys are feeling about it as well. Are you feeling as good as I am? You kind of jaded because Disney's been dropping the ball before. Would love to hear your thoughts. But me personally, I've definitely enjoyed the first two episodes and I cannot wait to get into this third one. So I'm curious where we're going to go. So in the last one, we knew that Sabine is rejoined with Ahsoka. Padwan and Masters, so that it's good to see that back alive again in the galaxy. But I'm very curious where we're going to go from here, guys. So I'm, I'm on my screen. I'm going to do like a sort of a three way view of you know me doing my reaction, and I'll have a counter there in case you guys want to watch with me to show you where I'm at in the video. And then I'm also going to have uh, footage of the uh, areas here in Florida that are being affected. And then one of the the uh, windows is going to be outside of my window. So you'll be able to see what I'm dealing with too. So right again, right now it's we've hit a lull. It's a little quiet. It's been kind of off and on all morning. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I maintain power. <clears throat> we lost it a couple of minutes ago, but hopefully I, I keep going here as we do this uh, live stream. So let me pull up my uh, video so we can take a look at this. I am so excited about this, guys. It's it's got all the makings of the old Star Wars, like the old feel. The music even, and I think a lot of people make the mistake when you think about a lot of us older fans wanting the old Star Wars back. <clears throat> it's not necessarily about the story. It's the vibe. Star Wars is really a vibe. It's it's something about it that just tugs at your soul, your heart and soul. Good storyline, good writing, just good action. Music is a major part of it. So Dave has got all of the ingredients in, in this show so far. So I am I'm locked in. I'm locked in, guys. Let's go and take a look at this one. Let me cue it up here. Right, let's get this going, get this started. Let's see where we go here. So let me start my timer. Again, for uh, those of you who want to join in with me and watch, you know, since it's a live stream, I can't necessarily show the uh, the footage on live, but I can definitely show you my timestamp where I am. So let's get this started here. All right, and I think I'm ready to go. Let's take a look. All right. Episode three of Ahsoka. You know, it sucks. I think there are only six episodes and we're on, we're like halfway through it. That really sucks. All right, let's go here. Right. It's loading. And we're on. Let's go. That was awesome. <clears throat> it's so good to see Ahsoka in like real, real action. I love it. Oh, 
love to see him in this too. You know, I'm not sure if I like her with the, you know, I, from Rebels and everything, she had short hair, but I like that long hair look she had. I thought it looked great. Let's go. Let's do this. It's sickening how excited I am about this, y'all. And again, I hope I maintain power. It's been off and on all day. So we'll see. If I lose power, I'll be back. I'll hop back on the stream. I'll start a new stream. How about that? Oh, let me pause this for just a second. Got a uh, message here. Hold on for a moment. Okay, let me read this here. What's happening here? Got a little notification from my family. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to restart. Not restart, but resume where we are. Padawan. Okay. The recap is done. Let's go. Where are you going to take us, Dave? Nice. I like that ship. Oh, doing some training. Dude, this, that droid is invaluable. He's got the general grievous thing going on. That's awesome. Nice. We have not seen this. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> He's showing her different styles too. Oh, man. Oh, he, he's got to be saved at all costs. Facts. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. We're going to see some force training. Oh, it's been too long since we've seen this, which is ridiculous to even say. Yes, feel it. actual training from Disney. <laughs>
This is great. Why am I whispering? Love this. So this is what Anakin was doing with Ahsoka back in the day. She's not feeling it. <clears throat> There we go. Not good enough. Again. Man, I love that. It's it's crazy how something so simple as training is so impactful. Oh, thank you. Finally, somebody's getting it right. Nice. So who's the chancellor now? Ah. She's still the chancellor. Okay. That damn chopper. Facts. It's crazy how that name gets everybody like, ooh. That guy's in cahoots. <laughs> then shut up. <laughs> Silence. Ooh, I like that.
chido. I like Hera. And not only because she's being played by Elizabeth Winstead, who I, I really like. <laughs> Chopper is hilarious. That'd be an interesting debate, Chopper versus R2. He wants the fast track. So are they going to retcon the midichlorian concept? Now, this is interesting. <clears throat> it kind of seems like they're, they're throwing that out the window. But, you know, which is fine. But as long as you've got to earn the right to use the force and not just any old person can use it. Training and discipline. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see what she can do here. So I'm wondering, has she been training to use the force over the years or is this all new? It's going to take time. I thought it was going to move for a second there. Like, uh oh. Ooh. 
Hmm. What are those? <clears throat> oh, they're like those uh from uh Oh. Uh, like those Nabu uh Oh, well, not Nabu, like those pod racers racing things. And it's interesting, it seems like Ahsoka is going to start changing, redefining what it means to be a Jedi. That's interesting. New galaxy, new Jedi. Hmm. Wow, those are some interesting looking ships. It's always time for a lesson. <laughs> Ooh, we'll dig there. What is on this planet? Oh, wait, that's probably where the star map. Okay. <clears throat> where Balin is. Who's expecting Ahsoka, I'm sure. Is, so is is that going to be Ezra as the uh... nice as that inquisitor? Wow, this feels like a prequel movie. I love this. What is that? It's a big ass hyperspace ring. You know, this is interesting. So I don't think we've seen ships leave the galaxy before. So they would need a different mode of, of, of uh, travel. Uh oh. Turbo lasers. Oh, it speaks. I think that's that's uh Ezra. Well, I don't know though, because if they're looking for
<laughs> He's like C-3PO with swag. I like him. <laughs> Did they crash into it? They did. <laughs> She's not going to pull a Leia, is she? That I can't imagine Filoni co signing that. That there's going to be something logical. How is she? Wait a minute. Okay, she's wearing, yeah, good, good. She's wearing a suit, yeah. That looks so freaking cool. Sabres out of the airlock. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Freaking awesome. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Now she should be able to. But I don't know. Soka didn't get that fine tuned training, though, as far as the forest stuff. Now, we know Anakin would have pulled himself back, I think. Good question. That is so freaking cool. Man, what a scene. Padwan and Master, they they make a good good uh, good combo. So it's interesting that their lasers are green versus the typical red from that we were used to. There's something different. Oh, it's one of the whale things that, that, that actually fly through hyperspace. And what Grogu saw in the Mandalorian, nice tie-in. This is awesome. So why are they there? Oh, they're attracted to something in the force, obviously. This. This is Star Wars.
so freaking cool. And he's back. <laughs> Everything. There's something about that that looks familiar. <clears throat> Can't remember why I've seen that before. Who is this guy? It's got to be someone we know. Got to be. Wouldn't that be a, what if that was turned out to be Canaan? No, no, it can't be him because he died. It it makes sense. <laughs> like you missed all that, dude. Balin, he just looks dope. Is that the Oh uh, no, there's I was gonna say, is that the Knights of Wren? Man, I love this character. Ooh wee. Oh man. Okay. Okay. A lot of thoughts on that. Um let me turn the volume down here so I can speak for a little bit. Man, so a lot to digest in that one. Um Again, jumping right into it, I got to say, I love the episode. I just love the whole vibe of this show. Dave Filoni, and and you guys are going to get sick of me saying that name, but I, it's it's the truth. You got to state facts when you have to. Dave Filoni is single-handedly saving Star Wars right now. And I I mean that. Like, the the vibe of the show, the, the pacing is good to me. The visuals, the concepts, and the whole idea of a new galaxy is just, that has not been done yet. So this is all new territory. And then it's it's almost there's a parallel happening here. So there's a new galaxy. 
where we're going to meet some new aliens, I'm sure, new creatures, new people, maybe even new wielders of the force, maybe? like that. We don't know. It's all unknown. And then also, at the same time, we're getting Ahsoka kind of like redefining what it means to be a Jedi, which is so cool. There's a lot of stuff going on in here, and I just hope that people are sitting back and enjoying this because it's some good stuff. This is some great, great stuff. Compared to what we've been getting, you know, through Star Disney Star Wars, this is just phenomenal. I, I love what I've seen so far. Three episodes in, I think there's only six, unfortunately. So it's like, please, I wish they would give us some more. This is just great. So this is obviously going to lead into the big movie that David's working on. But man, this is fantastic. And you know, there's some interesting concepts with the Force going on here. So for you prequels fans, and <clears throat> you can count me in that group, you know, we always, they talk, started talking about the midichlorian counts. You know, Anakin was chosen, the chosen one, because he's such a high midichlorian count. Yoda, high midichlorians. So that, it, the Force, the power of the Force is always tied to your midichlorian count so that means the more you have the more power so i guess they're going to throw that out the window and go with the whole the forces with everyone but you still have to train and have focus and discipline to utilize it so they're changing that a little bit no big deal to me i mean as long as they don't do the thing they did i guess that was uh what was the last m sequel movie i can't even remember the movie i don't even i try to not think about those movies <laughs> But in that movie, they had this person cleaning up and that person could use the force. So basically they're saying that anyone can use the force, which is not the case. Oh man, it's getting windy out there. Um, but I, I didn't like that at all. So I'm hoping they don't do that. I don't think Dave will let that happen because Dave understands that the force is mystical. It's a major concept. It's not just, it's not some like trivial thing. It's meaningful. And I love that about what he's doing here. Love the the Balin character. He just his look is just freaking awesome. He's like an imposing guy. R.I.P. to Ray. Um, I'm I, I'm wondering how that's going to play at the end of this season. He won't be able to come back. So man, who knows? But the the Inquisitor though, who is the Inquisitor? Is it going to be Ezra? Is is that going to be the big reveal that all this time it's been Ezra set up as the Inquisitor? Or someone different. It's got to be someone we know because I don't think, I think Dave is a way of kind of surprising us with stuff. He's not just doing things randomly. There's a reason why this particular Inquisitor is with Balin. There's a reason. And I, I can't wait to find out what that is. Um, the Force with with uh, Sabine. Now, I'm, I'm curious how is she, I'm hoping that she doesn't one day show up and it's just like a heavy Force user doing all this stuff. I hope by the time at the end of the season, we could just see her using force abilities. I hope they're on a low level because it takes years to train up to become a force wielder on, on a power level like Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan. You can't just wake up one day and do it. It takes a lot of training. Even if you're talented, it takes a lot of training like Luke. So I'm hoping by the time she does show force powers, it's just going to be on a low level momentarily thing and maybe that'll egg her on to train harder to develop it even further so i'm loving the sabine character love Hera. i love Ch the rebels are freaking awesome i wonder if we're gonna see the big guy uh what's his name <clears throat> he showed up in mandalorian he's got to show up in this he's got they got to have the whole crew and uh ezra i'm sure is gonna show up at some point if he's not the inquisitor but man, this is such a great show. I am loving this, guys. This is you, you just don't know. I've been on the verge of giving up on Star Wars, and, and this is pulling me back in. I'm energized. I'm hype again. I'm loving it again, y'all. This is, oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in nerd heaven right now. So I, I hope you guys are feeling the same way because it's just, it's been ridiculous what we've been going through the last few years. And so I'm, I'm very curious how Dave is going to tie everything together. We're going to have like, oh, Luke. Is Luke going to show up in this season of Ahsoka? Ooh, if, he, if Luke shows up, I'm going to geek out so hard. Like, it's, it's not even going to be funny, but he's going to tie Luke in, Ahsoka. Grogu, obviously, is going to have a major play into it. The Mandalorian, Boba Fett, all of Dave Filoni's things, which is hilarious. A lot of people who aren't major Star Wars fans don't necessarily know that there's one guy behind all of this stuff, all of the successful stuff. Dave Filoni, John Favreau, of course, those two. 
So we're going to get like a felony verse movie with all of this tying up together. Oh man, it's going to be heaven. Going to be heaven. What are you guys thinking out there? Let me know. I can't wait to see some reactions and reviews from other people. I'm curious how the fandom is feeling. I'm feeling great. I loved what I saw. I love that episode, man. It, this ride has just been great. I don't want it to end. I know it's going to, but I don't want it to end. Good times on this one, guys. Wow. So again, you know, I'm seeing the footage here. A lot of the areas here in Florida seem to be doing okay. Not, not major damage. Uh, it seems to be coming in waves. So I think when the uh, storm hit, hit land, it actually decreased in strength. So that's good for us. So all of you guys who are around Florida, keep your head up saying prayers, positive energy, take care of yourselves, stay safe. That's the key. Stay safe out there, guys, so that we can uh, hop back into this again next week to see another Ahsoka episode. God, this thing is, ah, oh, it's just so good, so good. So I think I'm going to like, uh, I might actually be able to go out for a little lunch today. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not raining. It's just very windy. Haven't seen any uh, trees fall down yet, so keep your fingers crossed for us, those of you not in Florida. Uh, but those of you are, stay safe out there. Stay safe. All right, guys, I'm going to end this stream right here. Again, I, I love doing these, these uh, streams. It, it gives me a chance to really jump into what I'm watching and take time to actually, I don't have to do spend time on editing anything. It's just a pure, natural, live reaction. I really like that. Really like doing these. So, guys, stay tuned next week. I'm going to have my partner in crime come back. We're both going to do a deep dive on a couple of topics. So stay tuned for that. Some good conversations. We're going to do some, some very nerdy deep dives on some pop culture topics within the, the nerd sci-fi realm. So stay tuned for that, guys. And, of course, more Ahsoka. More stuff coming down from, from Disney, I'm sure. That, I don't know what – is it the, uh, the accolades next? I think that's next year, but stay, we're going to stay tuned for all that stuff. So tune in to Big Time next week. We'll see you guys again. Again, Floridians, stay safe. The world, stay safe. And may the force be with you. Have a good one, everyone.